Morning everyone, it's Joe Giffords here again with a cup of Joe and it's a quick morning live about how to link up some apps that you already use to create super ninja workflows. And this is something that I do all the time and I help my clients with and it's, you know, it's stuff I've been teaching for some time. And the more that you start to explore how to help, you know, how to get tech to do the heavy lifting for you, the more you can free up your time, your resources, and your productivity. Good morning, Joe and Karen. Lovely to see you here. So, guys, if you are watching on the live, yes, do come and say hi. If you are watching on the replay, you know, leave the comments below and I will be jumping on later and of course you know this discussion does carry on in our group if you go to the blow up the blueprint group um i'm in there all the time so all this week it's about working smarter and creating awesome workflows and i've covered this week everything from how working smarter makes you more brilliant to um how you can use five of my favorite apps to create a workflow and today we're talking about using apps about linking up the apps that you already use to get them to do some stuff behind the scenes for you, which is where some genius lies, guys, because that is where you can be hands-free, or just hands-free in this case, um, and know that some heavy lifting stuff is going on so that you can either be with your clients, you could be coaching, you could be working, you could be creating epic content, essentially working in your zone of genius, igniting your own brilliance, off there doing all the stuff and saving more time because we're being super, super efficient. So have any of you guys here um, heard of If This, Then That and Zapier? So these are the ones I'm going to be talking about. And again, if you go to the um, if you go to the link for the group, I'll be screencasting in there later on some of the ways that I use these apps. So these are web-based services. So Zapier and IFTTT, I always get the number of T's wrong, IFTTT are two services that link up apps that you already use. And the way that it works is that for example, if we take the if this, then that service, you literally create a pathway for something to happen after something else has happened, right? So if this, for example, we might link up our Google Drive folder. If this, every time an email marks with Joe Gifford, it comes into your inbox, then that, then send me a tweet. So you can link up all sorts of services that you already have. So let's backtrack a minute. Let's imagine that you can connect things like Google Drive, Evernote, your photos, your text message, your Slack channels, your Trello board, um, your Instagram, your Twitter, your Facebook, right? So here's some of the ways that I use it. Every time I post a picture on my Instagram uh, feed, it automatically gets tweeted as a native image to Twitter right? You could also set it up that it goes straight to your Facebook, that it goes straight to your personal profile or your page, stuff like that. So in that way, every time I post an Instagram image, it goes straight to my Twitter, okay? You could also set up research using things like this. So every time a certain person uses a hashtag or every time there's a hashtag used or every time someone that you follow is releasing some news, you can save that research um, you know, straight into your Evernote, into your Google Drive, into your Trello. So you can start curating endless amounts of workflows where tech does the heavy lifting for you. And those of you who would have seen um, the workflow that I set up, which automates a Facebook Live to go to rev.com to be transcribed and to arrive back on your Trello board um, as a card, know that, that that is how that works. And I'm going to pop that link below as well. So by using tech, by using the capability of linking up what these things do, you get to gain more hours in your day, you get to save time, money, and resources, because whether you're handing a workflow out to your team or you're doing it all yourself, if you can save time, you know, you can concentrate on other stuff, you can concentrate on the client work, you can concentrate on building your course out, you can concentrate on other things. Time is short, guys, okay? So we can look at how you can automate things so much easier. So if I take a look at, um, I'm gonna screencast this in the group, 
But if I take a look at what's available on Zapier, for example, there's things like Typeform, you can link up ActiveCampaign, you can link up ConvertKit, you can link up Stripe, Eventbrite, PayPal. So I have all sorts of things hooked up so that um, every time someone pays me on PayPal, I have... Um, you know, like a little ping comes up in Slack and tells me that I've been paid. Every time someone pays me on Stripe, I have a text message and it arrives in Slack channel. Every time um, an invoice goes out, I get pinged. So you can set up all these things so that you can stay in control of your business in a way that is super, super smart, which saves you your sanity and it helps you to be super efficient. So what I'd love to do is to hear some examples of where you get stuck with time and apps and we can think of ways that we can work around that so anybody watching so Karen or Joe for salon let me know an example of something that's an activity that you do all the time and we can think of a way that we can speed that up for you and if you're watching this in the group if you're watching this afterwards you can leave your comment below and we can think of a way that can make that super fast for you um, as an example it might be that um, so if I'm researching something for an article or for a book or, or for a podcast and I want to follow a certain hashtag, I might set up um, a recipe that you know goes every time someone tweets this hashtag that it goes straight into a certain Evernote file or Google Doc or every time someone uses it on Facebook that it goes into a certain Google Doc. So things like that, you can actually have your research happening for you. You can have things you know building up for you um i also use it i know right it's brilliant karen it's brilliant so let's think about other things if you're publishing a blog post right this is something that i do all the time so um if you you can set it up so that the rss feed of your blog post every time that is activated goes straight to twitter or to facebook or to you know wherever so you can set up a whole range of things that you can work really smarter. So I, I often have it that as soon as um, as soon as a blog post is is published, that it goes straight to Twitter, straight to LinkedIn, straight to Facebook. So it's populated three times without me doing anything. Okay, but so Karen, you have a blog though, right? And you are on a social media. So let's think about ways that could make it super smart for you. So for example, if you showed up on a certain social media platform or you know, or maybe you're researching an article, okay, so you use Instagram and you might want it to be that every time you post something on Instagram, it also appears on your personal Facebook page and or your and or your business profile so that you're not having to double up. So you might want to do think yeah, so do something in one place and have it replicated elsewhere. This is where it can start to help you um, get more leverage in less time, which is why it's really cool. Um, or with your blog, for example, you can set up a workflow that, you know, when your blog is published, it goes straight to Twitter and to Facebook or something like that. So there's all sorts of ways that you can do it. It might be in the back end of your business. It might be in the invoicing. It might be in the team management stuff. It might be in the transcription side of things. There's a million ways we can use this. So if you guys want to join me in the group, in the killercontent.link forward slash blueprint, you can find the blow up blueprint group where I'll be screencasting very shortly, straight after this live, some ways that you can use these apps together. So if you are joining me later on, it's morning now in the UK. So anybody watching this later on, um, feel free to you know, leave a comment below the live and, and jump in the group where the discussion will also take place. All right, my love. So it's all about working so much this week. I want to save you time. I want to, I want to save you resources. I want to save your sanity so you could be even more brilliant. See you later.